All right, guys, we said Microsoft was gonna have two surfaces, but we didn't think they would actually make a laptop. This is the Surface Book from Microsoft. This is what they call the ultimate laptop, and really it shows. It's magnesium build design, it's slick, it is lovely, and this thing packs a punch. Now, in terms of uh, overall size, it's 13.5 inches. The display resolution is 3000 by 2000 with a nice PPI ratio there. It's got a 13.5 inch pixel dense display. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, it also comes with a new Surface uh, Pen, and that pen has a 1024 points of touch so it gives you better control better flexibility and of course you can latch it to the side of your surface uh, book right there with the magnetic lock now it's got a really cool feature uh, with the build there. you see it's got this nice gray look to it I wish they will come out with future different colors in the future but you can actually undock the uh, the surface uh, book like a tablet so basically it's a two-in-one it's a two-in-one laptop when you press that button you actually hear the mechanism actually unlock and you can actually pull up your Surface Book and, uh, and use it as a traditional Surface tablet. And the tablet form, it's 1.6 uh, pounds, so it's pretty light. Uh, and what you have here is the GPU is in the base where the keyboard is, and the, uh, the processor is at the top where, of course, uh, the uh, tablet area is. Now, in terms of the internals, this thing packs quite a bunch of uh, specs in there. So it's powered by the sixth generation uh, Intel uh, uh, processor, either Core i5 or Core i7. You do have also, a, you can also get a dedicated NVIDIA GPU, which actually gives you better video processing, also some good gaming performance from this, which would be great to see. Now, now, in terms of RAM, uh, Microsoft says you can go up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, we talked about 16 gigabytes of RAM, and here it is, guys. And your storage options go from 128 all the way up to one terabyte. Very slick looking device. That hinge there that you, you see is similar to what we saw from the Yoga 3 Pro from Lenovo. It looks like they've borrowed some of that design here. It looks pretty nice. It's got two USB 3.0 ports. It's got a display port. It's also got an SD card slot. Now, this is the keyboard here. It's a nice keyboard, well fleshed out, backlit with a glass trackpad very nice and very it really is nice to use and handle i like what they've done the keys are well raised up so you actually get some good um, um typing on the keys there so just taking a look at it and it really functions and works like a traditional traditional laptop you can of course edit your documents word powerpoint excel you can also go ahead and have uh, adobe um, uh, photoshop or premiere pro on there we actually had adobe there on site they were showcasing uh premiere uh, software on their editing video to see how well it actually performs in editing video which is actually pretty cool this is something i think a lot of people will definitely like in that space of consumption as well as also uh, doing a lot of uh, work so you really get some really good performance and I have to say my use case scenario while using this and typing I was really blown away with how well it actually functions. Now, in terms of other specs there, you've got a five megapixel front facing camera with better low light capture so you can actually do some video chat. The rear cameras are actually eight megapixels. And now also just writing on the on the uh, touch screen is very smooth and simple. The other thing to note is that that uh, stylus, uh, or the, the stylus itself uh, actually has changeable tips. You can actually change the tips so they have a different feel to it. So you can have one that feels like a brush, one that feels like a pencil, one that feels like a felt tip pen, you know. So you have different, you've actually added more functionality to it. And you can actually do some editing, some drawing, some sketching. So I'm here trying to actually sketch out a car. Now, the pen itself also has an eraser on the top, which allows you to basically erase off everything you've done, which makes it more natural and seamless. You don't have to go to the erase option on, um, on your device anymore. You can just basically flip it around and erase whatever you're doing. So I do like that about it. Now, overall, this is a wonderful looking device. This much thinner bezel. It's a really, it's a high performing um, uh, laptop from Microsoft. That, of course, that is a two in one. Now, pricing for this starts at one thousand four hundred and ninety nine and goes all the way up to twenty six hundred. So, uh, uh, thousand four ninety nine. You're going to start off with the Core i five in one twenty eight gigabytes uh, with no dedicated GPU, and you go all the way to twenty six ninety nine, where you do have, of course, I think, believe it's stated 
as a 512 um, or one terabyte with a dedicated NVIDIA GPU and 16 gigabytes of storage. So guys, that is the Surface Book. I have to say, I absolutely love this thing. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But if you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.